exciting is this time of year for you, transforming guys' bodies? So this time of the year, it's a great opportunity. We start out the summer. We talk about what are the goals of the summer. And we talked about a couple of things, cohesion being number one. So how do we mold together as a group? Because great teams are always together and they know each other through and through and they build a lot of chemistry within adversity through challenge, but they also build it through being around each other, spending time off the court. And so that was number one, cohesion was one thing. Number two is what we wanted to build was strength and hypertrophy. So we wanted guys to add some mass. So we put together some program that helps them do that. But with those challenges is nutrition and sleep. And so how can they take ownership within each individual, but also as a group to make sure that, hey, if you're not eating, they're getting called out by each other. If you're not getting to sleep on time, are they getting called out by each other? Because that's the ownership, the best teams have ownership together. And so it's been a really fun summer so far, molding and transforming. We just got through with week three. We just finished up literally uh, a little bit ago. And it was a fun, adverse day, and the boys had a nice struggle together. Jay, what's the challenge of working with you? Obviously, you've got the guys that have been here, and you know their tendencies and what they need, but having to integrate the new guys, what's the challenge there? So the fun part about it is everybody's a little bit different in what they need. My body's different than your body, so everybody's body's a little different. And so we'll sit down and we'll meet with them first and foremost, and the first thing I want to know is what makes you tick. So we'll get to know each other. What's the five most important things in your life? Tell me about your family. So it's really important to get that opportunity to get to know them first and foremost. So then we'll go through an evaluation process. We'll put them on the force plates and see how do they create force. And that gives me a great idea of what do they need uh, for each individual. And so that's fun. Do you need more strength? Do you need more power? Do you need more elasticity, more mobility? Like what do you need to be successful on the court? And then build a program to, to, for that individual to become uh, the best athlete we can. Talk about working hand in hand with Rick and his staff, and and, and, and how fun that is uh, as you as you go through, especially this time period during the summer. The great thing about it is, Coach and I have been together for so long. It's like we know exactly what each other's thinking before we're thinking it. And so uh, I usually have a great idea to give the guys a heads up. Hey, here's what you can expect. And so I think that's the key thing about communication: is hey, expect this. This is what's going to happen. Here's the adversity that's going to hit. When we hit this adversity, how are you going to respond? What barriers could we occur could happen as a team? And so that's the fun part about having that cohesion, working together. And uh, I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to do it every day, do what I love. How, uh, you're just, you know, how fun or how rewarding was it to see Dalton you know, the other night, how, you know, kind of reap, reap the rewards of the work that he's put in? Well, that's the key. And he came in with a mission. And number one, he wanted to win. He had never had an opportunity to play in an NCAA tournament. So he dreamed growing up, hearing the sound come on every time the tournament came on. And so that was a dream of his. He wanted to be a part of that. He was able to accomplish that. He also came in early before everybody else said, I want to transform my body. I want to put on 50 pounds of mass because I know how much it's going to help me. When I look at guys in the NBA, here's some comparable guys. Here's the mass that they have. And he did it. He put on 17 to 19 pounds. But a testament to his work because he was in there every Saturday, every off day taking care of his body, working through his body, and getting better at things that he needed to improve, like lateral mobility. He improved 10 to 12% in his time here. So testament to his work, his mindset, and the best thing, the compliment you can get from your teammates is when they talk about, we respect your work. And so for everybody to go around and talk about, we respect your work, regardless of what was going on, testament to his, in his mindset and his habits. So yeah, I talked to a lot of these guys when they're, when they're recruits. And so and when, a, when a guy like Dalton comes in, do you, I mean, do you have a presentation ready for, you know, what's your goal? I'm sure Dalton's to get the NBA. And you, you know, we've had these all these guys. With, here's what you need to do: X, 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 and X. Is that something you have for all these kids when they come in? Absolutely. We sit down and talk about it. And bigger than anything, we talk about the challenges that are going to occur throughout that that course of the the program. Hey, these these are the hard moments that's going to happen. There's going to be adversity here. Every day, you're not going to like them because we're here to do one thing. We're all here to win, number one, so nothing's personal. Number two, we're all here to get better. And so there's no personal stuff about it. And that's what I love about the atmosphere that Coach creates is there's always accountability, there's always communication between these two things. And so putting those things together and, and talking through that program and, hey, what do you want to accomplish? And putting together a plan and then holding each other accountable to that plan, I love it. Is there a better feeling after going through a summer like this and, and the season comes around and you see the fruits of your labor in action on the court? I think it might not be a better feeling, right? Well, it's not about my labor. It's not, yeah. I'm here to create an environment. That's it. They're the ones that have to go through it. They're the ones that have to buy into it. They're the ones that have to put the work in. 
So everything that they earn is a testament to them. And that to me is the most rewarding part is watching somebody come in, what their mindset is, what their physical work ethic is, what their habits are, and watching them grow habit-wise. Like it's easy for everybody, all of us in this room right here, uh, maybe we'll stay up another 30 minutes, you know, <laughs> then it's a little harder to wake up and then it keeps building on you. And sort of watch them learn the habits of what it takes to be a pro. That's what we love to do is teach them how to be pros and teach them how to win. Garrett, you mentioned it being a fun summer so far. Just for those who don't know, what does sort of the day-to-day -day or the week-to-week -week look like for you kind of here during the offseason? So right now we're training four days a week. We have some team stuff, going back to the cohesion piece. We have some individual and we have some group stuff. And so every day is a little bit different based on needs and based on profiling of each athlete and what the team needs. And so Monday could be a team day, Tuesday could be groups, Wednesday could be an individual, Thursday, Thursday could be a group day, Friday, team day. And so every day is a little bit different and each day has different emphasis based on what we, they need to do to physically prepare themselves for the season. And so some days might be vertical power, some days might be horizontal power, some days might be hypertrophy. So it really just depends on the goal and from there, uh, putting that plan in action and watching those guys work hard at Gary, you, you lost some, some strong leaders, Josiah and, and Santiago, which you know happens every year. What's it like in the summer to watch you know, new guys evolve, step into those roles? I mean, not that Zagai probably has to evolve much as a leader, but other guys do. And, and, and what's your role in maybe you know helping that along? Or is it, you just let it happen organically? So we walked into the meeting and said, hey, there's going to be a lot of leadership opportunities. But who wants to step up and do it every single day? regardless of how everybody's feeling, regardless of sometimes if you're liked or not liked, that was the biggest thing. So there's gonna be a lot of opportunities, but who wants to step up and take them every day? And so we like to create that environment to give those opportunities for people to be leaders. And then it's their job to step up. And then it's fun to coach walk by him and coach him up, hey, awesome job, man. I love how you stepped up there and said that. And facilitate and foster that environment. So it's really important to, to keep and grow and, that because leadership is not something that just all of a sudden you're a leader. It doesn't happen like that. It's something that you have to organically go through every single day with each person. Everybody's a little bit different. So that's the fun part is watching guys learn how to lead each individual as we go and as a team when to step up and say something. Does it take longer to build that cohesion now just with how much turnover there seems to be every offseason? That's a great question and you know I don't think so. Because, again, there's going to be similar environments. We're going to be in a game where we just had three possessions that could be challenging. And so within those possessions, are we going to let it go to five or seven because nobody wants to say anything? So because of the demands of the game, I don't see it being more challenging. But it's fun to watch each team is different and fun to watch them grow as leaders and who steps up in different roles, and that's the fun part about it. Anything else for Garrett? Is it pretty nice to look around the athletics landscape here at Tennessee right now and you like what you see? Man, I love it. I'm blessed to be at Tennessee and to have the opportunity to be here and work at an amazing university. Every time I drive in here, I'm just thinking, man, I'm so lucky to be able to do what I love because not many people get the chance to do what they love. And so really lucky to be here at Tennessee and have great support. Uh, coach, the uh, athletic department, I mean, everybody around here, Ball Nation is unbelievable. So really lucky to have the opportunity to do it every day. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary.